Today we're going to show you just some of the basics for utilizing ArcGIS Online with the idea that ArcGIS Online creates the interface between your ArcGIS desktop license and software and your mobile access on phones and tablets as far as Collector and Survey123 works. So first thing you do is go to ArcGISOnline.com and tell it that you want to sign in with your username and your password and then we're going to sign in here and then once you get in there you'll see a few options up here as far as your organization you can see who else is in your organization depending on what level of access you have and groups that you may belong to oftentimes with groups that's how you would uh, set up your projects you probably have multiple projects uh, across your field data collection, so each project can be its own standalone group. And then con my content is specifically the data that you've collected uh, attached to your groups. So we'll go to groups here first, and you can see this is our demo kit, so we don't have a lot of stuff in here. We have some stormwater demonstration maps, and then we have various maps in our sandbox here. So I'm going to click on sandbox. Then in here, we can see we've got attached data collection forms for a forestry sample we built for a client. Uh, this is just uh, a lot of data pulled in from uh, bird watching over the years. It was downloaded as a Excel file from my eBird database. And then we have a pipeline demo and then uh, raptor nests. So what I would like to do is to take a look at our raptor nest data and kind of show you how to view data and also export it. So here is kind of the main page anytime you go into uh, one of these data sets here. You can see this is just our overview page. It's telling us that uh, if for this one we only have one type of layer called survey point and then we can open it in the map viewer, scene viewer, or export the data. So let's just click on the data here and we can see it in a tabular format. So this is the data that's been collected and this specifically was set up as a survey one, two, three form. So I collected this data with survey one, two, three. And let's go back to overview. Without looking at the map, we can do a quick export. We can export the data, shapefile, CSV, uh, which is a format of Excel and a couple other options. But let's go and take a look at the data itself. So we're going to zoom in over here. And these are Raptor Nest data points, just example points that I collected on an iPad with the Survey123 app. And you can see we have a couple of options here where we can make some changes and then save it as a specific map. We can also share the link to it to others or print it and it will just give us a, a rough example of what it looks like. It's not a great high quality uh, map that we can print out, but it's an option. So let's we'll come over here and we see when you first set up a database like this and collect points, it comes in pretty rough. So we have points, we have no uh, labels for it. And even though these are multiple types of raptors in this collection form, they're all the same color. So over here, <clears throat> we can see this is our raptor nest layer. And we can click on this table here. And now on the same screen, we can see both the tabular form and the map itself and if we click on one of these guys here it'll highlight which one it is down here and you can see there's another way without opening the table where we can see the data that we recorded for it but it's not super useful as a quick glance at this map without some labels so let's come back here we're going to click on this here <clears throat> and let's do create labels creator that doesn't make any sense because that's just myself what we actually want to see the differences in is raptor species and let's add a halo so it's a little easier to read so now at a quick glance we can see the species and then I forgot to mention up here we have our base maps so we can change this make it 
an aerial imagery. There we go. In fact, I'm going to take off our labels so we just have the raptors there. And then another option is to give it some style because right now even though they're different species on our map, they're all just red dots. So let's tell it that we want to base our attributes on raptor species. And now we have a different color for each of our species with our table here. I'm fine with that. I'm going to tell it done. Now we can zoom around and zoom in, zoom out, and take a look at our various nests we have here. Click on them. And you can see for this particular nest, there's actually two there. One is this American Kestrel, another is Red-tailed Hawk. And the reason why it shows up like that is because we just need to zoom in closer because they were so near each other that they were showing up on top of each other. So you can see that's why it appears that there's two. So that's about it. We can save our changes there and give it a title. And that's about it. As we mentioned, if we need to get it off for report writing or get it back to the uh, GIS database on our computer, we saw how we can export the data. Let's say, let's do it as an Excel file because I want it for my paper report. And here's our export. Now we can manipulate that however we need to manipulate it for our uh, report writing. So please contact if you, us if you have any questions. And thanks for your time today.